Good day and welcome to our video on the WD-22TV4 Dell Dock. Now this is a special dock because it has a replaceable module that lets you upgrade in the future. At that point, it lets you downgrade as well, but nobody's going to want to do that. Okay, now let's open this up and see what's in it. We'll go over the ports and we'll demonstrate it as well. Now, this unit has not been opened. All I've done is cut the tape, so I really genuinely don't know what's in it. Let's open it up. AC adapter. Okay, now... What's special about this? Well, for one thing, it's heavy as hell. Why is this heavy? Because it's 180 watts. That's a lot of juice. So why does this need so much power? Well, because it can put out a lot of juice to other devices through the USB ports. And for that matter, also connecting through the monitor. There's nothing else in here. Uh, there's a safety manual, I believe, which is, oh no, it's not even, it's an instruction manual. I thought it was a safety manual telling you things like don't lick the port. Okay, and what this tells you is that you should, uh, on your laptop, you should download all the latest drivers and you should also make sure the firmware is current. Okay, just a good idea generally. So here's something a little unexpected. When I plug this in, the fan turns on, just listen. Interesting, I've never had a fan with a dock. I guess with 180 watts of juice going through it, it may generate some heat. So let's go over the ports. All right, let's start at the boring side. On the uh, boring side here, we have a USB Type-C. Uh, that's a 3.2 Generation 2. But we also have a USB 3.2, that's a USB-A port. That's the old rectangular connector. And that one has power share. So if you have got things that need to be uh, plugged in, but your laptop's turned off, yeah, plug them into there and that will uh, allow them to charge. Nothing on this side except a uh, Kensington lock uh, connector. So on this side, we have four video ports. Uh, and there are a couple of interesting ones. In fact, there are three interesting ones. The first two are here, DisplayPort 1.4 uh, ports. What's interesting about DisplayPort 1.4? Well, if you have a properly spec monitor that matches, you can daisy chain monitors. So you could have uh, a monitor plugged into this single port that goes out to a monitor that then also daisy chains and plugs into another monitor. That's kind of cool. So you have two of those. You've got an HDMI 1.4 port and you've also got a USB Type-C multi-function display port. And basically what that is, is a USB to your monitor. It's pretty cool if you can get it, to, if you've got a monitor that supports it. Then here you've got another two USB uh, A ports. Again, they're the rectangular ones. They're 3.2 generation one. Then you've got a gigabit network port. And then you've got these two really interesting ports. These are your Thunderbolt ports. And you, you might ask, well, why do I care about Thunderbolt? Well, it's, they're not just Thunderbolt, they're Thunderbolt version four. And Thunderbolt four can transfer at a massive 40 gig gigabit per second, just insanely fast. And what's interesting about this dock in particular is it's upgradable, which means you can take this unit at the end, slide it out, and put a replacement in. We'll show you that in just a second. Uh, and then at this end, there's just the USB Type-C connector, and you need to have that uh, on your laptop if you want to use this dock. If you do not have a USB Type-C connector, you're, this is not the dock for you. Okay, so uh, let's explain this dock portion here that you can separate and upgrade in the future. Not very hard to do. You can use specialized tools, right? Uh, that works just fine. Or you can just use a standard Phillips screwdriver. There it is. Now, the reason why I'm not tremendously excited about this technology is because often what happens with these upgradable units is that the upgrade portion, in this case, the Thunderbolt version four, so say Thunderbolt version five comes out and you wanna use it, um, that the, the upgrade module is almost as expensive as the whole unit. Let's give Dell the benefit of the doubt that they won't do that, that they'll sell us for like a hundred bucks and then you can just easily swap it out and upgrade, which would be quite nice. Let's try it on an HP laptop. All right, I've got my HP laptop here with device manager ready to go. Let's plug it in for the first time and see what it does. It's finding devices and I can see here it's charging. So this Dell Universal Dock is actually charging my HP laptop. Just to prove it's going to work, I'm gonna take a mouse and I'm going to plug it into the dock. Well, I'm gonna plug the wireless 
receiver end of the dock. There we go. And bingo, it's coming up. And does my mouse work? Why, it sure does, Bob. There it is. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe's also always appreciated. And if you have a question or concern, you can get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we can get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.